Hey there, and welcome to my final blog for writing workshop for film. This is my final blog. This is the last week, and I just turned in my second draft for my screenplay. Ten-page screenplay. And I'm awaiting peer feedback now. And I'm pretty wiped out. This month really took a lot from me. Um, learned a lot about my voice and about my characters in general. And it's it's nowhere near done. This is only the beginning. I have I'm gonna give myself about two more months of revising, editing, getting the dialogue right before I even start thinking about casting for this film. Um, I've taken consideration, you know, I've taken the feedback that I've gotten into consideration for my script and I've changed a lot of things. I didn't want to have a happy ending, but there's a happy ending for the sake of the film. And the, the original 10 pages, my first draft, the father healed too quickly. And so I kind of like dragged that out for my final draft. And I made it so that it's not so easy for him to forgive her. But there's an understanding at the end that they can both compromise and come to terms with, which I'm really proud of. And um, I've I've thought about like the mom too, and I I actually made her stand up to him too, because if you don't remember, um, it was just Kayla who's the protagonist, and there's Maria, which is her mom, and Julio, the pastor, the the evil pastor, <laughs> not evil but overbearing. And so, like, not only does Kayla stand up to him, but the wife does too, and that's important because he had a hold on, on both of them, and he was, he was being, he wasn't being reasonable, so they both had to stand up to him. Um, this month has been one heck of a roller coaster. Um, I've racked my brain about what kind of ending I should have and giving feedback and I've, you know what, I've gotten actually a lot better with editing and it's funny because I was able to work on one of my husband's scripts and I brought it up from seven pages to five which was really cool for me because I can tell that I'm getting better at word economy and I can do that for my friends too. You know, when I'm giving peer feedback, I can help them and I'm getting better at editing and I'm progressing that way. And that's good for me. That's definitely a good thing. Um, a good skill to have. And I'm taking notice of that. Uh, I've worked on other stuff outside of class. I've worked on, I'm working on a song right now that I plan to put on my portfolio website. And basically because I'm not just a writer. I can sing, I don't need to sing for the whole world, but I would like to sing for someone. Um, I've read a lot of scripts, uh, a lot meaning more than usual, and I've read, I started reading Dumb and Dumber, I have to finish that. I read um, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. I started reading the Shawshank Redemption script. And that's really good so far. Um, what else did I finish? I finished uh, Kramer vs. Kramer. Uh, I think it was a 1980s film. That was pretty good. Powerful. Powerful script. And um, I loved watching all of the short films in class. You know, it, it really teaches you how to condense a story into like three to five minutes. And it doesn't even have to be a full-fledged out feature. It could just be a moment, and that's important to capture. I've watched a lot more short films this month, and just to get the feel for short films, and I really like it. 
and I can't wait to, to film my script. It's exciting to think about, you know. <laughs> so that's a wrap for this for this month. It's a wrap, and I'm excited to move forward to television writing and uh, children's entertainment. I think is what's next, and I hope to see where that takes me. But thank you for watching, and I will keep keeping you update. I will keep keeping you posted. <laughs> I will keep you posted. <laughs> Anyway, have a good one. Thanks for watching.